what I've done is I've already installed the wood sill and I'm going to do a drywall return around the perimeter here and then I'm going to put a corner bead on it. So instead of wood returns and wood casing, it's all going to be nice and clean and neat and trimmed out with drywall corner bead. We're going to save the customer a little bit of money but still offer a very nice looking finish. When you're doing these drywall returns, you want to make sure the drywall fits nice and tight against the window. That way you don't have to do any caulking or put any tapes on there later. I clean that edge up after I cut it with my knife by using a rasp. That really straightens out any imperfections. In addition to getting the drywall tight against the window, you'll notice that along the outside edge, I've kept the drywall short. I do that on purpose. I want it to be an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch short so that way it's not standing proud so that when I put my corner bead on it allows it to be nice and tight against the drywall. This is not a metal bead with paper it's actually like a vinyl bead that's coated with paper so an inside face is a coarse paper very similar to paper tape that you would put on a seam and the outside edges has a finer smoother paper that actually feathers into nothing as well and that gets embedded nice and tight in the compound just like paper tape does. Alright now I'm ready to actually apply the compound and set the bead in place but before I do that I just want to point out one thing that I've done here. I've already taped the inside corners. I've used that extra strength fiberglass mesh tape around my inside corner here so now I don't have to put paper tape in there later and also up in these upper corners when these beads go into place there's actually a little spot where it doesn't have any tape but there is a hole so I got to make sure I put tape over that and so I won't get any cracking so I do that ahead of time. Okay, now I have to embed that into the joint compound. I can do that two ways. I can do it just with my six inch knife or I can use a special roller tool that embeds it nice and tight and square. I prefer to use a roller tool but so you get a feel for how each tool works. I'll embed this side with a roller and this side over here with a taping knife. This I place over the corner. I just put a lot of pressure on it and it embeds these legs edges of the paper tightly into the joint compound while squaring up the outside edge. So it really does a super nice job getting embedded nice and tight. So just place it over the corner and you can see how these wheels are pushing that edge of the corner bead nice and tight into the joint compound. I'll do that in the top. Now all I have to do is remove the excess compound. Once I get this embedded, see this upper edge here? Now's the time to apply some compound over that, fill it, and I also like to apply a little bit extra at this time to start blending that corner in. So I got a little bit extra build of a compound there so that later when I trowel this over it'll go more smoothly over that corner. So that's how you do it with the roller. To accomplish the same thing I can do that with a taping knife but you gotta do one edge at a time. So here I'm embedding this one edge nice and tight And I'm doing the other edge and I'm making sure that it's square and it looks square and I can even check it a little bit by holding my knife against it to make sure it's flat against the um, drywall and now that I like it I can just take my taping knife and I'm actually going to embed that edge really tight. See how I'm putting pressure right along that edge pushing all the excess compound out I'm going to blend in this top corner.
Now the other thing I want to do is I want to actually put a coat on these inside corners where I have the fiberglass mesh tape. So I just put a little compound on the corner of my taping knife and run it along that edge, then the opposite corner of the knife and run it along inside of that corner and I have a fastener or a screw that's not covered. I want to make sure that's got a coat over it. And that's going to be about it for this window. I just got to let it dry before I can apply my fill coat.